if you're having issues with the thread uh, wrapping around the looper needle, um, first thing to do is check that your needle is straight. So remove it and just lay it flat. Make sure it's straight. Um, make sure that your uh, looper needle is in good condition. We see this one has a good point. Make sure that there's no nicks in it. If those are both good, then what we do is um, just rotate the, uh, the head so that the looper is all the way up. And then we take a 964 drill. Now, when you get your sewing head, you may have a tool for, for measuring that height, uh, that distance, but I find it's a lot easier with the 964 drill. And that should just slip between the top of the needle and the tip of the looper like this, okay? If that needs to be adjusted, that's this, this screw down here, uh, 1032 hex. Loosen that and move it up and down as required. Now, when you're tightening this up, it's good habit to uh, always push this to the left, okay, and then tighten it up because the position between the, the looper and this needle, as I'll show in a minute, is quite crucial. So push to the left, tighten it up. And then what we wanna check is um, two things. The next, going on from there, um, the next crucial thing then is we wanna make sure, and this is just general setup, we wanna make sure that the, the hole in the needle lines up with the hole in the looper. Okay, and what I use is a piece of 14 gauge wire, just hammered a bit flat. And if you just slide that through and sort of uh, move the move the head, the pulley up and down, um, just to make sure that those two holes are lined up center to center. Okay, if that has to be adjusted, then we have to loosen this um, Allen head here. We have to pull the needle chuck out, and there is a um, there is a screw on the end of it that sets the position how far in or out the needle is then to line it up with the looper. So looper height, uh, holes centered here. Then the next adjustment is to make sure that we have a good gap uh, between the, new, uh, the looper and the needle. So what we do, we would just bring them so that we just wanna see a little bit of a gap. So this looper needs to go to the right a little bit. Check it on one side and then bring it around and check it on the other. Just check the flex in it. Yeah, so we see we've got a good, flexing it is the easiest way. We've got a little more on this side than the other side. So that looper should go to the right just a little bit. And then while we're looking at this, the other thing is this needle guard right here. Uh, we want about a 16th of an inch gap between the, the needle and the guard. This one is rubbing. Uh, that's why there's a big mark rubbed in it there. Uh, so that, we'll loosen this up. And like I said, about a 16th of an inch gap there is good. Now, uh, your best friend when you're working on these sewing heads is this little rig right here. Uh, this is what we would use for this. And this is also excellent for all these uh, 1032 flat heads that we have on this sewing head.